Hello friends, uh, welcome to Windows. In today's video, you will learn how to enable the new volume mixer in quick setting panel in Windows 11. Starting with Windows 11 build 25281, Microsoft is internally testing a new volume mixer using which users can quickly and easily manage the system sound as well as offer various apps installed on the PC separately. Right now, if you open the quick setting panel, you can only manage system sound and if you click on the select a output device icon, you will only see the output device. In the new volume mixer, if you you open the quick setting panel and click on a select a sound output device icon you will find option to select audio output device and uh, turn off or on the spatial audio apart from this you will find option to manage sound separately for system and different apps installed on the pc for example if you are listening to music or watching a video on youtube there will be a separate volume slider for microsoft edge similarly if you are listening to music on media player then there will be a separate volume slider for it as well so depending on your requirement you can individually manage the volume of these apps right now the new volume mixer and new output settings are disabled out of the box in the latest windows insider build but you can enable it using wipe tool here is how you can do that first of all you need to download and set a wipe tool on your pc i have already created a video on how to do that so check the link in the description and do it after that open command prompt with admin rights for that click on the search icon and type cmd when it appear in the search results click on run as administrator when usc dialog box appear click yes to continue here uh, you need to execute this command check the blog post in the description to grab the command once you get the message uh, successfully set feature configuration you need to close command prompt window and after that reboot your computer to apply the changes After you start, if you open the quick setting panel, you will find the new volume mixer and output settings. It's a nifty feature and I'm sure users will definitely love it. So depending on your requirement, you can use the options available in this menu. So that's it guys. What is your opinion about the new volume mixer in Windows 11? Are you going to try this? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Also, if you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more useful and similar videos.